Hey guys, this is George from Upland Jitsu. So I received a bunch of messages and a ton of requests for this. So I'm finally doing it today. This is a tutorial for calling Valley Quail and Gambles Quail. Um, both of these birds are very similar in a lot of ways, both in appearance and how they vocally uh, communicate with one another, uh, with some slight differences in their assembly call, which is the type of call we'll be focusing on today. Um, as quail hunters, as upland hunters, um, we focus on the assembly call uh, to either uh, locate birds out in the field or to call in uh, singles after we bust up a covey, which is one of the main tactics I use when I'm out uh, hunting uh, quail without a dog, of course. Um, today I'll be demonstrating how to call uh, quail using both, uh, or actually three different types of uh, calls that are readily available out in the market today. Um, one of the first being a Primo's Valley Quail call, uh, which again is readily available. Um, you can find these in a lot of sporting good type of stores. Um, do believe you might be able to find these at Walmart at, at some locations. Uh, Big Five might carry these. Um, I actually purchased this one at a, a Bass Pro shop about 10 or so years ago. Um, not the best quality call, uh, of course. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, cheap. As far as uh, price goes, uh, you pick these up from anywhere from 10 to $15 these days. Um, the quality, the, the sound is not all that great. However, um, I've actually used this uh, for some time, for a few years, and uh, it, it's actually pre pretty useful. And uh, I've been successful with calling in quail using this uh, particular call. Um, the next call uh, I'll be demonstrating with uh, today as well will be the CJ quail call. Um, again, this is a, a, a similar in design to the uh, stick call uh, from Primos. Uh, this is uh, uh, manufactured using uh, 3D printing. I believe uh, there is an acrylic version of this out uh, currently. The next quail call I'll be demonstrating with today as well uh, in this tutorial um, is the Jim Matthews 3-in-1 uh, quail call, um, which is actually made out of wood. Um, this particular quail call, again, is, is a three-in-one. It basically has uh, a call for uh, your mature uh, valley quail or gambles quail, and uh, valley quail, and your uh, mountain quail. Um, today, we'll only be focusing on the valley quail and the, uh, the gambles quail call uh, on this uh, particular uh, call. All these calls uh, basically utilize a reed design, so they use a rubber band as, as a reed, and that's how they produce uh, the sound. So again, valley quail and gambles quail uh, are, are really similar in a lot of ways. Uh, they do have assembly calls, so once a covey is busted up, they, they, their, their uh, basic um, instinct is to regroup. Uh, they feel safer in groups, of course. So um, for valley quail, uh, the general, the general um, generic uh, call uh, that, that you would want, want to try to utilize and, and try to imitate would sound something like Chicago, Chicago. Um, for gambles, it's a little different. H however, I've actually had gambles quail uh, respond to a valley quail call and vice versa. So. Just keep that in mind, it, it, nothing set in stone when it comes to how you call or, or, or the cadence. Uh, I, I'm a firm believer of switching it up when you're out in the field. Sometimes something works a little better than not. Um, I also am a big believer of having multiple calls on you at once. So I'll, I'll carry multiple calls with me when I'm out in the field. And I usually find that that kind of helps switch things up and uh, helps you uh, to either locate birds that are a little more on the, on the weary side or uh, may, maybe respond to a, just a different pitch, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> so again, just to kind of touch on how a, a gambles quail would call, uh, it would be in, in different, in, 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 it's a little different than uh, a valley quail call, which again sounds more like Chicago, Chicago. And that's basically the cadence you want to use. Uh, for gambles quail, you typically will hear them uh, vocalize Chicago, go, Chicago. Go. So while I'm demonstrating this and when you're practicing at home, that's that's typically the uh, the cadence that you want to uh, duplicate when you're out in the field, of course. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start off with, with uh, the Primo's Valley Quail call. And again, this isn't the best quality call. Um, however, it, it does work. I've used this many times and I've had quail either respond or, or come within distance. And uh, I, it, it's, it's helped me get a, get a few quail in the bag. So the best way to, to, to utilize the call is obviously to, to, to palm it in your hand. You want to use a finger. I use my middle finger in order to keep it uh, firm and, and, and up, up against my palm. Um, place it in your mouth. So it'll eat like this in your mouth, basically. So I'm holding it like this, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the, uh, the valley quail call, which will sound like this. And you'll see it's basically Chicago. And you'll notice the difference in the pitches and, and the sounds of, of uh, all these different calls. So again, I'm a firm believer of having multiple calls, different pitches, etc. It helps. So same with the CJ quail call. And there's that. The Jim Matthews call again has has three three and one. It's a three and one call, so it's three three different types of call. Um, the uh there's a chamber a chamber call uh for for and this is basically designed for um your val excuse me your uh gambles quail and your mature uh valley quail so using the valley quail call it'll sound something like this And switching over to the other side, this will sound a little higher pitched. Now I'm going to dem demonstrate the uh, the gambles coil call, which sounds a little more like this. Next call. And the Jim Matthews call. Switching sides. So all these are great calls to use. Um, again, I'm a firm believer of using multiple calls out there. Uh, switch it up a bit. The, the variance in, in uh, pitch and sound seem to help out a bit, especially with wearier birds. Um, these all, again, utilize a reed design, so the rubber bands in them will expand after some time, so you do want to replace them uh, so they sound a little better. I think all these have, are, 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 all have uh, new rubber bands, uh, so I tend to switch those out every, every, maybe every few weeks or just depending on how often I use them. I, I use them pretty hard. I use them pretty often when I'm out in the field. Again, being a, a hunter that hunts without a dog, um, for uh, quail hunting and upland hunting, um, there, there are some challenges and obviously I, I use every, uh, utilize every uh, tool that I have in my bag in order to, to assist with uh, getting birds in the bag. Um, so yeah, you want to go ahead and uh, switch these out. The, there, m most of these designs will have either Allen uh, screws in them, uh, so you can remove the rubber band, put new rubber bands in them. Uh, rubber bands are pretty easily available and, and a lot of uh, a lot of stores i mean you go to the 99 cent store pick up a bag for like 99 cents and you know you're you're good to go so the harder you use them the the, the better to switch them out with the wood uh with a wood one I, I tend to take it apart after a while just to kind of air it out um uh, you know you get spit and moisture that that will eventually uh accumulate in there so you want to dry that out as best as possible um yeah, so the, those are some of the tips that I have for that. I, I could uh, go ahead and um, demonstrate the calls again, and you guys can practice this. So this, again, will be the valley quail call. And again, 
these calls, you're you're not married to Valley Quail or Gamble's Quail. Switch it up. I, I switch it up. Uh, Val, uh, Valley Quail will respond to Gamble's Quail and vice versa. I've done it a uh, you know a hundred times, and it's it's there's there's nothing set in stone when it comes to that. Um, I've even heard cases where uh, mountain quail will respond to valley quail, so that's something to consider as well. Um, so this would be valley quail, and this will follow the the cadence of Chicago. Next call. Jim Matthews call. Gamble's Quail call. Yeah, this one is not, again, the best quality round, but you can get birds to, uh, to reply to this or even come to you. Next call. That's actually Valley Quail call. Let me go ahead and do the, the Gamble's Quail call again. Gambles again. Actually, I was one on the wrong side on that one. Uh, let me try that again. So that's it. Um, I mean, there's there's pros and cons for all of these, of course. Um, the wood one, I, I, I think it sounds the most realistic. There's a warmer tone to it, but of course, you know, it is wood. Um, you know, you do want to air these out. It, it's not as uh, durable as, as some of the other ones, but you know, it is a beautiful call. Um, this particular call is, is uh, really versatile. It'll, you know, it's, it's a three in one call. So that's, that's always a plus. Um, Jim Matthews also makes a uh, single, single stick calls uh, similar to, to these as well. Um, so it's worth, worth a check. Um, obviously this is probably the more durable one. Um, the sound is probably not as authentic, but I'm sure there's people out there that uh, can make it sound a lot better than I. Um, and I don't claim to be a, a, <laughs> a master caller when it comes to, to calling quail, but I, I, I think if you follow the, the basic cadence, then you, know, you will get birds to reply to you and come into you as well. Um, this, again, is probably your, your cheapest alternative out there. Not the best quality. It's it's a little harder to um, to uh, maintain this one as it just uses a, a single strip of the band. So you basically have to cut off a piece of the, the rubber band and, and uh, kind of mess around with that. It's a, a four piece design. If uh, you probably can't really tell, but it's a four piece design basically. Um, not the easiest to maintain. It doesn't sound the best, but you know it, it does work. Uh, it is cheaper as well. Um, I hope that. Uh, that helps some of you out there. If there's any questions, you feel free to, to reach out to me. I'm an open book when it comes to when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, please uh, follow us um, at UplandJitsu.com. Um, that, that's our my, my blog, and that's that's something that uh, we you know we really appreciate your your um, your support on. Um, also follow the YouTube uh, channels and all uh, the YouTube channel and all of my, my social media as well. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you guys.